Okay, today you can tell this is not one of my regular makeup tutorial videos. This is actually a very, very serious video that I wanted to make on bullying. Um, today when I came home from school, I saw um, this news show that was talking about Phoebe, or Phoebe Prince, <clears throat> and um, she was a freshman in high school, and it really, really made me feel horrible that she would kill herself over these things. And, you know, it, it made me sick to my stomach that the people in the school didn't do anything about it. Um, I know what she f went through because during my freshman year of high school, I was also bullied. And for the stupidest things, like, I like this boy and we broke up and then, like, yeah, all of our friends were, like, spreading around and saying all this stuff, but, I mean, some of the stuff they would say about me was so retarded. Like, they would leave me, uh, like, emails and stuff saying that, like, oh, you're, you're worthless, whatever, blah, 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 and cussing me out and stuff. And then, like, I don't know, I'd get text messages and stuff, just like that poor girl did. And, you know, when I went to the school about it, they didn't do anything. I went to the vice principal and stuff, and one of the girls actually pushed me, like pushed me, like really pushed me, and I didn't push her back because I thought, well, I don't want to go in ISS, you know, or anything to push her, and the school didn't do anything. They didn't, like, all they did was like this conflict mediation thing, and she's continued, and, you know, as we grew older and stuff, I mean, like, it stopped, but, you know, it didn't... The schools didn't do anything. I mean, that VP could have done something. And, you know, that Phoebe, Phoebe, um, those school officials could have done something. And, you know, I, I was picked on for stupid things, like the way I dress. Like, sometimes I'll dress like this. Or I'll do my makeup like all dark and stuff and I'll wear like ripped up clothes. That doesn't mean that I'm an emo kid or anything. I just, I like black. Black's one of my favorite colors. And, you know, my hair, it's like a honey color or whatever. And my eyebrows are like dark brown. So what? They don't match. Who cares? They've never matched. Even when I was little. And, you know, stupid little things like, I'm overweight. Did you guys know that? I am overweight. And you know by how much pounds? Like probably 10. Maybe 10 or like 12 pounds, whatever. And you know, I'm not the only girl. <clears throat> I'm not the only girl that has insecurities. And I know a bunch of you have insecurities too. And you know, you don't want people <clears throat> just to go around and say stupid things. And you know, just let it get out of hand and stuff. Because I mean, life is so short. We're only here for maybe like, what, like, golly, 70 something years? Not even? Maybe? I mean, poor Michael Jackson died at 50. And because he was being bullied too, people were saying that he was a child molester and stuff too. And I mean, he wasn't. And there are tons of people that go through their lives thinking that there's something they're not because people tell them, oh, you'll only be this good. You're only this good. And I mean, are the people that you see in magazines that are like skinny, like skin and bones, do you really honestly think they're beautiful? No, I don't. I think like people like Tyra Banks and Beyonce and Lady Gaga and stuff, they're beautiful. And you know, they don't have to starve themselves to look beautiful. I mean, yeah, they work out and stuff, but I mean, they have eight hours that we go to school and go to work, that they have to do whatever, so they work out. If I had all the time in the world, I'd work out too. But I mean, that's not the point. The point is, we all have flaws, and we all have, like, beauty, and we have so much talent and stuff, and ugh, it's ridiculous that people would want to just put people down like that. I mean... I, I really believe that, and maybe this is ignorant or whatever, but 
I, I believe that everybody has some good in them, you know, and who knows, maybe you were a good person and somebody betrayed your trust or you weren't um, loved or anything when you were a kid and stuff, you know, stuff like that. You know, maybe you grew up with your father telling you that you never amount to anything and you, you grew up thinking that and, you know, you ended up in jail and stuff and because nobody told you any different. But, you know, break the chain. Break the cycle. You don't have to be a drug dealer or good for nothing or, you know, a failure or whatever just because someone says that you are or that's all you're ever going to be. Because, you know, I believe in you. And there's so many other people that believe in you. And, you know, it's never too late to turn your life around. It's never too late to stop it and put an end to it and change it. And I wanted to show you guys this picture of that girl that killed herself. And I wish that I could have known her, been her friend on Facebook, whatever, and told her that she wasn't the only one that would go to sleep at night crying because she felt insecure about herself. There are hundreds, thousands of girls and guys too that do that. You know, maybe guys don't feel as muscular in the locker room and stuff as other guys and stuff. And you know, it, it gets to you. It gets to you. And I just... I wish she hadn't taken her own life and that I could have been a friend to help her. But hopefully this video will change someone else's mind and make it better. I just, I want to do what's right. And I feel that making this video for her was right. Um, and here she is, this beautiful girl that killed herself. And she's gorgeous. And she did not deserve to die that way. I'm sorry she did. Um, if you feel the same way, just be nice. Go around. Tell your friends something that you always wanted to tell them and you never did. Because life is so short, you know. Tell somebody something positive instead of saying something negative. Because I'm pretty sure whatever you have to say negative is something they already know about themselves. So make somebody's day and say something positive and really make it the difference. Because believe it or not, people's words make the difference. I'm sorry that she left us like this. But she's in a better place now.